Today I'm, I'm rebuilding this Shimano Sante derailleur. This is probably one of my favorite derailleurs ever. The only tools you need are some pliers, a pick, some Allen keys, and a screwdriver. I haven't been making videos for a while, but I'm finally back. I'll be posting more regularly. I'm gonna do all the derailleurs I can. Tons of road stuff coming. There's a few people who are making derailleur rebuild videos, but they're not very good. And I need to make sure I stay on top. So I appreciate anyone who supports the channel. Thanks to everyone who subscribed and yeah, more derailleurs to come. I have a lot more suspension forks to come. I have lots more Shimano road derailleurs as well. So make sure you stay tuned to see those. All right, taking off the B-knuckle, all you gotta do, bring out your five mil and unscrew it. Hold the cage as you do it. Just like that. And after you take off the washers and the spring, you can just push out the bolt. And now for the P-spring, all you gotta do is take off this little plastic clip and unscrew the B-screw. And only for the Sante, I recommend to take out the B-screw after you pull this thing off because there's not much space here and you could damage this little area. But I did it anyway, so let's take off the clip. Get You get your pick and slide it off. Now just pull this tab out and towards you and just pop out. There you go. Push out the bolt. All right, now everything's all nice and taken apart. Now it's time to clean. For this, you can, you can use some alcohol, brake cleaner, simple green, any kind of degreaser. For the heavy stuff, I would like to use a brush. And if you have any rust, you can put in some vinegar or some other rust dissolvent. And here we have my pulleys. Obviously, both of these are super worn. They need to be replaced. Actually, this one right here is a 10 tooth. This one right here is a 9 tooth. I actually found a replacement for both of them. They're not ceramic. Those are very hard to find. But they are sealed bearing. I'll have a link for those in the description. And just for the sake of the video, I'm going to keep these on here just to show you how to do the ceramic stuff. And for the nine tooth pulley, the spacing might be a little bit off on the sealed bearing one that I found. Because that one comes off a chain guide. So you may need to put a couple spacers on each side, but it should work in the end. And in my case, I'm using this ultrasonic cleaner and all I'm using is water and dish soap. And now everything is nice and cleaned down and now it's time to rebuild. Also, I used some of this Quick Glow Chrome Wax for the chrome parts and all the bolts. And I used some mothers for the little cage right here. And a quick note about the pulleys, they are clean. It's just, they're so worn that the plastic is kind of flaking off. So I'm just gonna do the rebuild like this and then I'll put some other ones on later. And another thing you're gonna need for the rebuild is grease. All right, so first thing you wanna do, just grease up the inside of the pinochle nice and good this is a higher end derailleur so you could use some SRAM butter but i'm just going to use this stuff it works just fine so yeah you know the spring very very straightforward you want the part that sticks out like this just pops right in there and now you want to grab the larger of your two little o-rings you want to put it on you can put some SRAM butter on here like a tiny tiny sliver of grease if you want and then slide in your bolt and screw it in with a rotating motion and I grab your metal retaining pin and you want this little hook part to kind of clip into this pretty straightforward just like that and I make sure you have your clip on standby and you want to grab some pliers and you want to twist it so this little tab goes into that little groove right there you just do it with your fingers like that and then put in the clip There you go. And then you want to put in your B-limit screw bolt. You can start off with your fingers because it's pretty hard to, it's pretty hard fit to get it in there. And grab your plastic little thing and put it on. And now for the B-knuckle, you want to grease up both the part on your cage and the part in the derailleur. And then grab your spring. This is fairly straightforward. Just put the fat end in like this. And after that, grab your plastic seal and slide it on. Make sure it's in the right direction this and after you got your spring in you want to grab your three little washers you want the big one on the bottom the medium one in the middle 
and the thin one on top and just pop them in. Make sure you put some grease on them so they don't fall out when you tip it over and then find the hole that goes with the pin on the spring and, and marry the two together. Make sure it goes all the way down like this. And now you wanna grab the smaller of your two O-rings. You wanna, I put a little bit of strand butter around the edge just to make it a little more, just to make it more slippery. And now grab your bolt. You wanna grease it up and screw it in. And here comes a little tricky part. Once you screw it in, you wanna screw it in a little bit, just enough so that this little pin can pass through there. So you wanna unscrew it just enough so it goes that way. And when it's like this, you want to rotate it counterclockwise, pull the cage back, and now when it's, in, when it's past the pin, you want to screw it in. Now it stops at the pin. And tighten this bolt down pretty good. Not too tight, but just snug, you know. And now for the police, again, I'm using these just, just as an example. You want to put a little bit of grease on the inside of the ceramic part. I like to use some kind of thin grease or you can even use oil, tenacious oil or some kind of chain oil and put some on the put some grease on the inside of here and slide them through. Again, you don't need much and don't put them on the seals. That's gonna attract dirt and then put on your seals. This is the, the guide pulley. So I'm gonna put on the bigger seals and it goes right here. And before you screw it in, you wanna put a little bit of grease on the bolt as well. And same thing for the tension pulley. Remember, just a little bit of grease. You don't need much and put it on. All right, now you want to tighten down your bolts. Make sure your pulley spin nice and smooth. Then put on your barrel adjuster and your clamp bolt. And you have yourself a fully V-built derailleur. I like this derailleur because it's just so different from everything else at the time. It's completely different from a Dura-Ace, even though it's supposed to be like based on it. Most of the Shimano derailleurs are the same thing, and I'm glad they have one that kind of stands out from the pack. This mold design ended up working really well. It made everything super light and performed really well. So yeah, subscribe and Santa will bring you a free Sante.